this, and I've been working since about six o'clock this morning, been going at it adamantly. You can see my energy level is extremely high. So I just was making a prospect call. I was talking to a for sale buyer owner, somebody looking to sell their own property. Uh, last name, when I got to looking at it, and I set an appointment, by the way, last name is Ziggler. There's a really famous, inspirational, and one-time salesman out there named Zig Ziggler. Zig Ziggler actually used to be a World War II veteran, and as I remember it, he was back during the 40s and 50s. Now, Zig Ziggler actually went to took six companies and became the number one salesman in each one of those companies. And they say he was able to do it because of his Southern charm, his Christian uh, beliefs, and uh, really just kind of his want to help you uh, mentality. He was able to take six different companies and be the number one real estate, not real estate, but the number one sales professional in that particular field of expertise. I'm not sure what the sales were, but 1940s, 50s, 60s, ugh, that's rough. Cars didn't have AC, you know, wasn't a gas station on every corner, um, no such thing as a cell phone, GPS, uh, Google, internet, so you pretty much had to be, uh, uh, you had to do it from the ground up. So this guy actually did this. But the cool thing was, is that I started looking him up because this lady I was speaking with, I was wondering, is she related? Because how many people have the last name Ziggler? So I looked it up. She's not related, but I found something else really interesting that I'd like to share. And what it says is it says 10 popular quotes, and this is from Forbes, 10 popular quotes that were by Zig Ziglar that will change your life. Now, when you say change your life, I'm all on board, especially if it just means I have to read something, I'm in. So I'm going to read down the 10, and I'll get to the top and the number one. And then you guys just kind of weigh in and tell me what you think about it. Number 10, remember that failure is an event, not a person. Pretty powerful. Often, number eight, or number nine, sorry, people often say motivation doesn't last. It says neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. And number eight, there has never been a statue erected to honor a critic. Powerful to it. Number seven, people don't buy for logical reasons. They buy for emotional reasons. Number six, expect the best, prepare for the worst, capitalize on what comes. That's pretty good. I think that's a pretty powerful one. I'm gonna read that again. Expect the best, prepare for the worst, capitalize on what's to come. Now remember, these are from the great Zig Ziglar, number one salesman, six different companies during the time when it was literally basketball players played in Converse, TV was still in black and white, there was no Google yellow pages, there was no cell phones, and most of the roads still were not paved, they were dirt, okay? So just keep that in mind at the time that this guy was actually number one sales and sales is the hardest business in the world. I don't care what anybody says. It's over athletes, anything, because it's mentally draining, right? So now, number five, if you're looking for a friend, you're going to find they're scarce. If you go out to be a friend, you'll find them everywhere. Wow. I think what he was saying right there is, it starts at home. If you want to get a good friend, be a good friend. And then number four, a goal properly set is halfway reached. That is so strong. Basically, if you take the effort to write down your goals, you're halfway there. That's the easy money to me. And number three, your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. Good. Top 10. These are the top 10 that Forbes magazine cited out of Zig Ziglar's career were actually the most important ones that, that he probably had said. And number two, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. Coming from the number one salesman of six different companies back in the days when there was literally no AC inside of the vehicle. That is pretty strong. And the number one, you will get all you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. Top 10 from Zig Ziglar, 
on how you can actually look at it. If you look at the bottom of the screen, there's actually going to be a link that you can go there. That is the one that I want to do. I want to do number one. I want to help you get all that you can out of life. Give me a call. Let me know what you'd like to do. We're in an on-fire real estate market. I wish I was exaggerating. I can sit down, show you the facts and figures, let you come to your own conclusion. We do know that renters pay more money per month for what they're, what they're renting versus a buyer who owns the same exact property. I'd like to keep some of that money in your pocket so you can either apply it towards yourself, towards your kids, towards your savings, towards your vacation, towards your car, towards your dream home. I'd like to make sure that you're applying that money somewhere else other than down the toilet. All right, so my contact information is below. And also the link to this uh, page right here on Zig Ziglar's top 10 is below as well. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Have a great day after Labor Day. Jermaine Robertson.